I really believe we can have our uh, show off there. The amount of discussion about is it ravioli or ravioli? It's ravioli. Or as, a, as an Italian, I will say it's ravioli. Bruschetta? <laughs> Bruschetta. As a Greek, I will say it's gyro. Yeah, sure. Plus no Uh Welcome to you Never Walk Alone. It's and, samosas uh, for you. <laughs> I don't eat that stuff. You don't eat samosas? No. <laughs> yes, no, I forgot. My you forgot again? Chocolate milk. Uh, you know what? Next week, Eagle. Next week's, a, next week's a big week for all of us here. So we'll yeah. Yeah. some forest cake. Black forest cake. Why is it? <laughs> it was a great cake that we had two years ago. It was <laughs> fantastic. As opposed to the white forest cake. Yeah. No one wants that. No one wants uh, welcome that. to <laughs> Never Walk Alone. Uh, uh, welcome to Danny Ings, who sounded Liverpool this week. Yeah. I had no idea. Yeah, exactly. I kind of lose touch after when I, after this point. Yeah. Then I kick it in when I uh, right before the August starts. 8th. It August kicks 8th, in, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Speaking of kicking it in here, we have PZ Delarizzi at PZ FPF, Terry T- Tam FPF. At Terry Tam FPF. Yeah, you can't, you can't tweet me at Terry Tam, though. You could tweet me at Terry Tam if you want. I have, a, I have an account. Yes, it works, know. and it's pretty funny. And Eagle FPF. I, tr- I tried Periscope this week. It's pretty funny. How that was that? Nice. It was awesome. So I, s- I don't want to tell you what I wrote to see if I would get any followers, but it didn't work. <laughs> okay. Tell us how fair. Not real. All right, speaking of working, uh, this is where we have to work now. Yeah, man. Sure with Heat, West Park, your boys. Uh, boys. The Heat uh, winning quite easily over West Park. Uh, Carl Lavalle, four TDs, one INT. Uh, J.D. Chevalier, Chevalier, pardon me, two TDs, 57 yards. Matt Bond, one TD, two INTs. How impressive was served with Heat in this victory over West Park? Uh, I'm impressed with their win because they're a good team. I mean, they've, uh, they've really proved me wrong this season. I didn't have them doing that well. Uh, oh, we know that. Yeah, yeah. Um, but the only thing is I'm not impressed against a weaker West Park team. West Park is very two-player two heavy kind of thing, if you want to say it that way. Uh, Carl Avalay was able to do whatever he wanted on defense. He was driving up and down the field. Guys like Panetta were playing too on defense. Very smart, very... Uh, very Jordan, uh, exper- Panetta, Jordan Panetta, exactly. Yes. Uh, very experienced player in FPF. Uh, I'm not surprised they came up with a win like this as well. Uh, for West Park, you, you, you said to pass the ball to Will Smith type of offense here? Will Smith. Bella's prep. Fresh Prince of Bel Air. What do you do, guys, when you have the ball? Pass the ball to Will. Give the ball to Will. It's huh. true. I forgot about that. Yes. Uh, PZ, do you it's remember that? Less, less to be guarded by Marcus Stokes. Oh, like on uh, kicking and screaming. Yes. Give it to the Italians. Um, uh, Marcus Stokes, of course. No? Uh, he killed Will in that uh, game. It's like on kicking buckets. and screaming. Yeah. Give it to the Italians. Um, in a hurry here Nothing. for West Park, what do they have to do to change the fortunes here? Because, quite frankly... They need another weapon. No, they two or three, I think they need two weapons or well, three weapons. they're... Uh, Amit is going to get almost every single ball. And then they have Qua- then uh, Quasi. They have, uh, I always forget his name. He played at Vang. He's a running back. But he's kind of, well, they have Coons, but Coons didn't play this week. Uh, but the, either way, they have uh, John John. And he was a running back at Vang. Kind of gained a little bit of weight since then. But still, he's pretty effective. Well, it's been almost 10 years since you guys last tormented the uh, poor souls at CVM on the football field. Yeah, I know. I know. It's been a long time. And he was on those teams that tormented them. And he was a very big, very big piece. And he's a very good football player. Uh, I just don't think in FPF. I, I just I feel like they don't have a structured offense. It's pretty much Matt throwing it deep, running around. Matt throwing it deep, running around. Matt throwing it deep, running around. Matt Bond, that is. Matt Bond, yeah, of course. Uh, Peace. Uh, would you like to chime in on West Park? Um, I kind of agree. This kind of they kind of miss that one piece, put them over the top. But uh, I think I mean Paul might be enough to get them through most games. Honestly, he is. His level he of is. athleticism is, is awesome. Oh, it's not so Rega- regardless of whether or not he's put on team, weight, though. it's it's he's still an athlete. No, no, Mid Paul didn't put on weight. JJ put on. Oh, so JJ, JJ, sorry. But yeah. either way, it's, it's it's a team where you have athletes, and and the athleticism will carry them through yeah. most games. Well, but I mean, if you get that one piece, then they'll they'll just get you to that. Elite level. Well, right. again, so for me, Paul, he might jump to CFL if he gets picked up anytime mm. now. CFL ready right now. CFL is about to begin. Is it June yet? It is now. Mm. Uh, Carl Avalay, is he a legit quarterback of the year? 16 TDs, 6 INTs up till now. Slow start of the gates against yeah. Longhorns, but he's played very well the last few weeks. Quarterback driven division. Uh, the trophies are numbers driven always. And uh, if you got you got extra numbers so far, he's put them up. Six INTs in the first four games. I think it's a little much for a quarterback of the year. Usually they end up with like six or seven throughout the entire season. Um, but we'll see. I mean, why not put him in the conversation now? I would. Fair enough. Primetime key ports. Primetime playing like it's showtime. Hammering mm-hmm. the key port 55-13. Div Daou, eight TDs, one INT. Jeff Roseblatt, two TDs, five INTs. Uh, Keyport, are they that bad, or is prime, or have they regressed though with Jeff Roseblatt at quarterback? Because it seems like they were pretty good last winter, and now playing at this division here, this may be out of their league playing Div C. I don't think they've, I don't think they've regressed as a team. I, I, I don't think uh, Rosenblatt regressed. I think they've regressed as a team, and people start figuring out what they're doing. Um, it's very simple. 
uh, to cover to cover short. I mean, those guys they're gonna they're gonna get the ball short. If you can just get in front of Yanni, get in front of Marco. Uh, Marty Freeman's a guy they don't use a lot. They're starting to use Daniel Goloff a lot more, which I like because he's very good. Um, but overall, I just think that you figured it out. And Jeff Rose isn't the best quarterback. He's a good quarterback. He's effective in lower divisions. I think Division C might be a little too high for Jeff. I would um, agree in a sense, Terry, because what I see is. Uh, even in the last season, he, he threw 20 interceptions. True. Uh, now he'll move to the C and play tighter defenses. Um, I, I don't know if he's quite ready. He does have a good cast of characters yeah. around him. But in the end, it does rest on the shoulders of quarterback. It's a quarterback-driven league. It is. It is. And you need you need a big weapon. And Yanni, as good as he is and as, as, uh, as sure-handed that he is, you need somebody that's going to be able to break a, game, a, a break a game. And Yanni hasn't done that yet. Um, prime time. Uh, another big win for them. On the bandwagon, beginning of the year, I, know I you called are. him. I have prime times my team the entire way through. Emilio Cicere, man, this guy Cicere, sorry, Cicere. Emilio Cicere. Uh, he's on it's fire, man. It's it's C E C E R E. I'll just say it that way. I'm not gonna pronounce the name just anymore. Just say that every time. Yeah. So Emilio C E C E R E is awesome. <laughs> we call him Chichi. Chichi. Yeah. And uh, honestly, he's amazing. He's, he's great. And he had a great game this week. Uh, five touchdowns, 160 yards. Nuts. You see this team losing? I see them losing. I mean, I can I can see an implosion somewhere throughout the season. It's, it's about to happen. It's about to happen with the Daoos. I mean, I represent them. I am the public defender of this league. I'm not a few. Poor soul that you are. I would uh, imagine they need the public defender. <laughs> they need a public uh, defender. <laughs> Speaking of defenders, uh, Dave Dewey did not see a defender all game as he threw for 333 yards in this game. Well, is this the most impressive game you've seen at quarterback? No, I've season? seen better at Dipsy. I really have. I, I think they're I'm not saying he's not a great quarterback. I think he's a very good quarterback. Yeah. But he's beating up on teams that they're supposed to beat up on. I've seen that. I've seen guys like Daniel Lazara have games like six or seven touchdowns against better defenses than Keyboard. So, I mean, I, it's a great performance. Don't get me wrong, Dave. I just think that you played against a weaker team and you're. Your team right now is is on its way to the final. You just guys just don't have to implode and pull does it down. Not, does he not look like Gareth Bale from Real Madrid? No, I don't see it. Anyway, <laughs> that's where that conversation ends. Right that there. does end right <laughs> quickly, real quickly. quick, real quick, real quick. quick. Zero to hundred. Old. Uh, Zoo Laval's five is probably the best game of the week here. Zoo wins a thriller over LV, 34-31. Frank K five TDs, one hundred and ninety-seven yards passing. Ryan Mastrips. Five TDs for him. Uh, Pat St. Armand, 79 yards, two TDs. Um, how big of a win confidence-wise is this for the Zoo? Considering, again, that they've always been an up-and-down yeah, team. They've never I been mean, consistent, but this is a big win against a pretty good team like LV. Big win. I mean, it's a good confidence booster for them. they got a good start throughout the season. They have a uh, few uh, tough games coming up uh, The second uh, in the second part. they got NFC. Uh, sorry, it's uh, no-fly zone. Uh, playing primetime and killer instinct as well. I mean, it's going to be tough for them to maintain this, but I think they could. They're a very they're an experienced team. They have great players in Pat St. Amand and Frank K. Uh, I don't doubt them. I mean, I don't know how much of a contender they'll be. Uh, Are I they a legit contender, though? I don't mind. think they're a legit contender. I think they are. You think they are? Le and I mean, you know what? And, 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 and if Frank K is a good quarterback, and he can he can get it done. I don't think that they have what it takes to beat the top teams, a la GNR, No Fly Zone, uh, Grip and uh, sorry, uh, Prime Time, teams like that, Longhorns. I don't see them beating those teams. Uh, yes, no, Peas, are they a contender? Uh, in terms of the zoo? Yes. I, I believe so. I like Pat Sinema. Uh, Zoo are a deadly team when they play with a lead, uh, and I think they're a team that's built to get out uh, with a head of steam early. Uh, mm -hmm. Barring getting, barring a game where they get down and, and have to come from behind, I think that uh, their team they just uh, steamroll forward. But can they? W is Frank K capable of coming back two scores down? Let's no. say ten minutes left. But I don't think I don't think they'll find themselves in that position. Uh, and you know what? And some and a lot of championships teams don't put themselves in that position. Exactly. But there are teams that you kind of make your bones and you prove who you are and you prove it inside your huddle too. Yeah. Of who you are. When Nobody you do makes make those bones, comebacks. Terry. You're born with bones. Calcium. Yeah, bones. Bones. Don't get uh, Is it bad luck for LV uh, in the fashion they've lost the last weeks in the last five plays? Maybe not bad luck. I mean, it's just it's sucky for them because they're a good team. They're very talented. Rob Mash is one of the better quarterbacks in this divi in this league. I would say. Uh, I just think they need more chemistry. I mean, Rod. I don't know how often he's played with guys like Billy Macris and players like that uh, and Theo Bikelis, but I know that. Uh, he has his boys. He has Jad Reedy on his team. On this team, uh, so they could do well. I just, maybe it's just a little bit more chemistry. Maybe he's overthrowing guys a little bit too much because he likes to throw that fade down the sideline. I mean, there's a lot of things. But scoring four to five touchdowns. I mean, that's Rod Mastubrin. Right you should win. You, you should win four or five to use a game. Uh, your team of the week. 
Uh, my mine. team of the week is the team that thinks I hate them too much. And it's no, 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 no. Yeah, I'm jumping. No, no, no. no, no, no. no. Let me finish what I got to say, bro. No, no, no. Don't and cut me off. Go to break now. Don't cut me off. Don't cut my balls off, okay? I just did. The team that thinks I hate on them. Two and a half dance. It's my team of the week. Uh, they got a big win this week over, uh, over Cream Team. Cream Team is a team that's a lot more athletic, better. Muscular. More muscular. And just whatever. I just think that taller, that's for sure. And they have no dance. They have no dance. They might have a dance, but I'm not sure. No, they also don't. have a lot less shirts that are cut up here. <laughs> the old uh, college and football jerseys. Yeah, and they, uh, they have something called a throwing motion. I don't know if the Dan's ever heard about that. But anyway, either way, they, got, they came out to win. I spoke to some of them. They weren't happy with you. I know. They all came out to me, trust me. And or, and or tweeted at me. Yeah. So continue it. They love me, though. My For team of the week, Damps 25-8. By the way, you know what, you know what Damps 25-8 is, uh, PZ? I, I believe it was a prescription given to Terry Tam to enlarge his prostate. Yep. No. Why would you I go, want to you know enlarge what it? <laughs> <laughs> you should speak to a doctor, like a real doctor. <laughs> That's a question for you guys. Do you know what Oh, Damps the Eagle's brother. Dr. Acula. Dr. Eagle. Dracula. Uh, Damps 25 8. Do you know what that is? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's a good one. No. The score. I like no, that. No. No. I'll ask you the question. Damps 25 8. I feel like it's a, it's a props. No. No. I just made it up. It's a barbershop in NDG. Really? Damps 25 8. And they should probably go there then. Yes, they do. The sponsor? It's some sort of connection with Well, them. can we get... Okay, let's get the address. I'll get it on my phone. Don't worry about it. We'll do, we'll do what we did for that CrossFit place. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, so funny. That's my team of the week. Uh, they my barbershop been, of the week. Uh, slow oh. start out of the gates, and then they have, put, they have played well. They lose Jay Granson, though, who might be gone for the rest of the year due to football commitments elsewhere. But if they lose him, Space. it might hurt them. But uh, I think right now this is a team that is learning how to play well on defense and on offense. Dabscompany.com. That's all I got so far. Okay, fine. Enough. Service in here is terrible. All right, come up next. We'll do Separation Weekend. Some key games coming up here in Separation Weekend. Two and a half dance against Longhorns. We'll get Terry's thoughts. I think we all know where he is jumping on in terms of the bandwagon. Stay tuned. This is You'll Never Walk Alone. Call in the Audible has been brought to you by the English Montreal School Board's DEAL program. Distance education for all learners will allow you to obtain your high school diploma or prerequisites for stage up or vocational studies from the comfort of your own home. It's never too late to go back to school. Learn anywhere at your own pace and get your diploma. Call 514-788-5937 for information or visit www.distanted.ca for more details. As a, there's a bit of miscommunication with uh, producer and the uh, director over here, Eagle and uh, PZ. We have the uh, total count now, 15 minutes in. Three up, three down, 15 up, 15 down to go. Uh, by the way, DAPS 25.8, have you checked it out yet? I can't find the address, but just go to DAPSCompany.com. Sherbrooke Street. DAPSCompany.com and you'll be able to, uh, to make an appointment. they got some sick fades going on. And Theo Ojeha, future Hall of Famer in this league. 54 INTs in his career. Theo Ojeha is on the cover page. Can we make uh, an appointment for like one of our? Uh, let's make employees? let's make one for Eagle right now. Let's yeah, we have a wedding next week, right? Yeah, Alex, Dakula, Eagle. Also, maybe for Mo Khan because he looks like a real thespian. Okay, yeah, I'm doing that because Mo needs to take away his thespian haircut. Mo. Okay. All right. Okay, Mo, we're I making an appointment for you next week. Sure, I have a haircut too. It's Thursday uh, next week. Oh, no, I'm gonna book you right yeah. now, man. Uh, I, have a, I have an appointment already. Oh, you do already? Because I wanted yeah. to show our viewers how fast it is. To get an appointment uh, because okay, it looks enough. like it's pretty uh, pretty quick here. All right, I'm gonna here put go. my email. All right, fair enough. Put your email. Put like Rob's name in there. Yeah, okay, Rob. I'll put Rob. Robert okay. Cavana. That's what I'll do. Can we talk football? Oh, sorry. Yes, sorry. yes, we're talking football. <laughs> <laughs> yes, terrible radio, by the way. <laughs> sorry about that. Welcome back to uh, You'll Never Walk Alone with uh, PZ Eagle. Terry Tam and Mokon as we go into separation weekend. Some big games to look at. Two and a half to ends against Longhorns. Uh, a big one for both teams because they're in the thick of their division race as we speak here. Um, who needs this win? Because you look at the Dans, they've been playing very well. Longhorns coming off a loss yeah. against Hitman Retro last week. So uh, I'm, I'm, right I'm, now, who needs this win? I'm going Longhorns just because they have that loss and the Dans don't have. Uh, they have that loss and as well they're in a tougher division like we spoke about last week. That division I find is a little bit harder. Um, going to that division, I think that uh, the Longhorns are going to need to separate themselves a little bit more from the no-fly zones, the killer instincts. I'm going to go two and a half Dans. Uh, of course you are. Yeah, of course, because they're my team. No, because you hate me. No, because I stood 
about my team, unlike you. Oh no, they suck. No, no, no. I never no, said no. they suck. Those no, words no, never no. came out of my mouth. No, the, the office can't play. Joey I never said they suck. No, They're no, terrible. No, 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 I never said they suck. No, but Joey can't throw a ball. No. I never said they suck. <laughs> you just can't no, do it. No, it's no, not no, good. I don't want to be the team. Danny Mac has no abs. I just can't. <laughs> I never said those things. Danny I never Mac said a bad word about them. Rupsy can't throw a ball, even though he beat me this week. Rupsy is a good player. I, like, I think the Dans are a team that right now, if they get this win at five wins, especially in their division, they need every single victory. I think Longhorns can, yeah, if they lose another game, yeah. it hurts them, but they can afford to lose a game here of and course, there. I think, so. I think for two and a half Dans, this team needs to win and win out to be a higher seed. And I think if, if they get this 5 0 start at the halfway point of the year, they're in great shape going yeah, to the second I half agree. of the year. Uh, peace. I'm going to go with Longhorns because I hate two and a half Dans. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's true. Yeah. You and P- Terry, you want you guys to uh, be BFFs. Never hated two and a half dance, but I'm not going to lie, starting to. Yeah, because of Mokan. Yeah, it's Basically. all about the two and a half dance, man. Maybe be you, maybe you'll be a part of two and a half dance. Maybe two and not half dance? anymore. Two and a half dance, maybe cut one and a half Mokans and we'll be on your side. <laughs> is there anyone on the dance that can lock up with Rob Allen who did not uh, play last I, week? Even if there is, I don't think there is. Uh, but even if there is, they don't need to. The key of this game is, is Danny Mack getting in John Moody's face. If Danny Mack is able to to rush and do his job very well like he does and, and, and break that coverage and make the cover and make a broken plays kind of thing, then um, then I think that's the key. So Danny Mac is the coverage guy of this team for this week. Uh, which offense do you think needs to step up? You look at the long ball, long going offense, yeah. they're explosive, whereas with two and a half dance, they'll mill clock, going a ten, twelve play drive. I've seen it, I've counted myself as a scorekeeper. They've gone an it's eight. crazy. A plus play drives numerous times. Which office do you prefer? What the what the Dan's do well is that they like to grind out and they like to annoy the sh- shit out of people. Okay, and feces. Feces. They yes. like to annoy the feces out of people. And the Longhorns can't deviate away from their game plan, which is you stretch the field completely, and then if anything comes under, it's under. But you're stretching the field first, and that always works, especially with guys like Dave and Rob Allen on the field. I mean, you can't go wrong with that. They need to keep their offense. Uh, I Don't trust about Dale Williams, but I can't. Oh, it's true. Oh, I forgot about Dale Williams. I can't forget about D Dubs. Reebok rep. I Home. forgot about Dale Williams, um, but I think that I trust more the Dan's offense because they just it works for them. All right, so PZ, who do you trust more in this offense, the Longhorns' long ball style of play or the short dink and dunk of the two and a half Dan's? Uh, honestly, the two and a half Dan's offense is is ugly to watch, but it it is effective. Um, so I I. I think that it, it can work, especially given the ball hawks on the defensive side of the two and a half dance defense. So, given that, uh, I think in this kind of matchup, if, if both teams play to their strengths and two and a half dance doesn't get away from what they do, two and a half dance can be the more effective offense. I think the Rosens will be key. Adam and Chris Rosen, they mm-hmm. have to be the X factors for the, the Longhorns to really stifle two and a half point. dance. We did get a uh, live comment, and I don't know how to turn this oh, phone it's on. It's awesome. We have. Our mom's watching this show here, so what does mom say? We, we do have a mom, and it's actually the mother of Frank K. Oh really? Boy. Yeah, all the yeah, way he's from Vancouver. Lying. He is not happy. He, he said that... Is it he? His, his, his mother K's says... Oh, it, okay. Frank K's mom says that he uh, doesn't appreciate the comments that you made about her son. What did so I say? You said uh, something to the effect that you don't like him and will find him in the future. Don't remember saying that, that, but it sounds person. a lot like me. Yeah. All right. That's you, also said, you also said you don't like you don't like his pancake mix. No, I don't like his pancake mix. No. I feel it's very nutty. Uh, it's and it's not th- I just I'm not a fan of the maybe, nuts maybe in my pancake. Some, maybe get some banana in there. I'll put some banana, make it a little softer, make pancakes. it a little more raw. I like it a little raw. Gluten free yeah. pancakes are the way to go. Gluten free pancakes. Uh, get serve with heat pancake and pancake. the Punisher. That's a pr- sneaky good game this weekend here. Can the Punisher defense, which had a phenomenal game in the victory this past week, lock down an explosive heat offense? No. Can they? I don't think so. I mean, I, I, I served with he after I watched them this week. If they do, it's because served with he is very one-dimensional. Um, they can't be one-dimensional, especially with throwing the, continuously the ball to J.D. Chevalier. There's nobody over, else over 100 yards in that team except for J.D. Chevalier, which why wouldn't you? The guy's awesome. Don't get me wrong. But I think that they're very one-dimensional. Can the, can the punisher do it? Yes. I don't think they will. I think they can. They're, they're, they're a ball hawking team. They might not, may, not, may not have enough picks to say, hey, they're ball hawks, but they attack the ball in the air. They yeah. will go in the air and pass the flight to do what they have to do, throw their body at the football, literally, here. They can definitely eliminate the air rate attack of Sir with Heat and make this a closer a <laughs> game than expected. True. Peace. Um, I will say that Hawks do, in fact, attack balls in the wild, 
And for that reason, I would agree, Punisher. In all honesty, I did watch him play a little with you today, uh, this this past week, uh, Mo, and I was impressed. Uh, for once, I would have to say that I agree with your assessment on the team. I do like the raw ability on Punisher, so I will side with them in this game. All right. Which quarterback plays well this weekend? Is it Lavalle or Morin? I'm going to go with uh, Bourbonian and Murray on this one. Not that Lavalle is not going to play well, but like it, it, at least to my point earlier, um, I'm going to go Bourbonian and Murray, uh, taking control of his team and being able to come out with a win. Uh, just, I just think that they're more well-rounded, more uh, he spreads the ball out a lot better than, uh, right. than Lavalle does. All right, speaking of teams that need to step up, quarterbacks, one and three, we have a, a, a cluster of one and three teams as we approach the halfway point of the season here. Uh, which quarterback needs to step up here? We'll go through the guys we have here. Brotherhood, it was Jamie Harry that started. 10 TDs, 3 INTs. Jamal Giddens has played some. Who do you go with? Go with Jamie Harry. I mean, Jamie Harry is more effective. Uh, sorry, Jamal Giddens is a very effective as a receiver, so why take him away from that spot? Jamie Harry hasn't done a terrible job. He hasn't done a great job either. But keep Jamie Harry at quarterback and leave Jamal Giddens as a receiver. It's amazing. Just like with the Bearskins in Division B, not to use that in our conversation here, Babbage. but... But uh, the, it's the brother are a good team on both sides, athletes to work with. But what stunted them is the quarterback play because it <coughs> seems like it's regressed and they can't make a play at all. Maybe they need Terry Tam. A brother have been a team in their uh, in their young history as a franchise. They've gone back and forth with quarterbacks, so definitely it hasn't helped. Uh, hasn't helped their case. Uh, LBB with uh, the chime min ton tat min ton tat. Three, 13 TD, 6 INTs. He's been sacked 12 times. How important is it for him to step up? Because right now, it seems like LBB cannot find he's not, he's creativity not reading, in offense. He's not reading defenses. He's trying to use his feet around. And he's getting sacked because he can't read the defense. He doesn't know what's coming in front of him. Uh, Minton Tack can be a very, very good quarterback in this league. Uh, to something that you guys spoke about in your Division E podcast about running quarterbacks is that he can be a very effective running quarterback. I just think that he's not reading his defense properly and he's not looking to see where the open holes are and his receivers aren't getting there either. I can't put all the blame on him. <laughs> PZ, you've played with uh, the Chime before. Having, having played with Min, I don't know how he's ever been sacked. He's probably the fastest <laughs> kid I've ever seen. He's so it, it is. It leads to your point, Terry, that he's just he's not making his reads quick yeah. enough. He's relying on his legs too much. Honestly, his legs should be a weapon right now. Uh, there, they are actually uh, hindering his uh, success. All right, top one of the seasons. best cover corners I've seen in this in this league. Min That's why he's the Chime. Top seasons. Four weeks Top in, season. four weeks in, they've used four different quarterbacks. Season. Who will be their quarterback? Because they need someone to be eligible for playoffs at some point. Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's try Akeem. Throw Akeem in there. He talks a lot. Put him in there. Maybe you can talk in the huddle and actually call a play. <laughs> and, call uh, audible. He's like Peyton Manning out there. Or call, call, my, Omaha, or call Omaha. your girl, man. S speaking of call your girl, we have another message from oh. Frank K's mom. <laughs> Who says what is she, going on? Man? She'd like to see you at 47 years old every time. And she adds, Frankie if you look looks great at 47. if you look as good as you do, she'd like to take you out for a seafood dinner. Hey, in Vancouver, perhaps at Red Lobster. I'll have my girlfriend drop me off. Your roommate, Red Lobster in like Cornwall or is it Ottawa or whatever on the way to Ottawa? No, it's Red Lobster. Like no, we're only this oh, is only in happening Vancouver. in Vancouver. Oh, you have to go to Vancouver. Yeah. Okay, I'll get my girlfriend. And make sure you make sure you get that on Periscope. I'm on my way, Miss K. The top seasons. What the hell happens to the quarterback position? I mean. Who, who did they have last year? What was his name? Uh, they had um, I forgot his name. They had a guy who who reminded me of the, of the character from Friday Night Lights. Yeah, Voodoo. Voodoo. Yeah, I Maxwell. Forgot his name. Maxwell. Exactly. Jordan Maxwell. Maxwell. <laughs> Jordan Maxwell. Jordan Maxwell plays uh, for uh, Cream Team. Maxwell is the guy. But that his last had. name is Maxwell. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Overall, I just think that. The team was always a little bit overrated that we gave them at the beginning of this last season. They played well. They're athletic. They're good. Uh, with, I mean, but I don't know. They just don't have a quarterback. Maybe it's they, gonna hurt them because they need to find a quarterback because at some point you need five games to be eligible. Put a in there. Oh please. Put a as quarterback. Him in his 1996 bucket hat. Put a at yours. quarterback and prove my point. Not gonna work. Uh, cream <laughs> team. Jared Humphreys. One and three. 17 TDs. Four INTs. All four picks have come in the last three games here. Not even worried. I am a bit not worried. Even I am worried, worried about it because man. it's like he's regressed. Played against two and a half Dan's last week. He's not regressing because he has four picks in three games. You listen, coming into this year, last year at this time, Cream Team was making their way to the finals and they had a pretty good winter. In season. Division E. It doesn't matter. They are making their way up the ladder here. Alex Grace is a fantastic player. A great player. Division E. So? They're in Division C now. What about No Regard? What about them? Hashtag. Hashtag not no sure regard. that's related. I don't Those talk about that teams. team. What about them? 
I'm just saying every team goes up the ladder. Exactly. They went up two divisions. Hey, all I'm saying is that Jared Humphrey should be playing much better than where he's at. Right. As we speak. I'm saying 17 touchdowns in four games isn't that four bad. Four INTs in the last three games. 17 touchdowns in four games is not that bad. And they're one in three. What relevancy does it have to the 17 um, the, They have to figure other stuff out. Is relevancy different from relevance? Yeah. All right. Yes. It's uh, relevancia. I've heard of that. I've, I want to go there. <laughs> <laughs> they have a wonderful resort. It's beautiful. beautiful. Is, great. is that beautiful in Cuba or in months? Mexico? Portugal. Portugal. Oh, Portugal. Uh, off the Portugal. Or what should we call it? It's off the islands. It's south of Portugal. That's another island. Uh, Prez Light. What should we call it? What should we call it? That's a great song. Uh, SPB. <laughs> set Ten TDs, two INTs. Honey Badger. That's uh, of course Jacob Burnett. Yeah. Three TDs, three INTs. He played the last game. Not too bad. No, no rotation. What are you talking about? No rotation. Are they going rotation? No. Did, did they go with the starter? No. Because SBB's awesome. But he didn't play last game. He was a receiver. Oh, maybe he was injured. He played two games back to back. How's he hurt? Maybe he hurt his shoulder and he couldn't throw. You're deflagging and catching footballs. Don't you think you're going to hurt your arm? Peasy? You know this very uh, well? I actually have a bit of insider knowledge. Oh, yeah. It's going to not us, hurt in this game. Just trying to mix things up. Try cool. something different. Um, I would say the biggest thing hurting them is not is not having the ability to use SBB as a rusher. Yeah. Um, 4 3 40, man. I mean, they, they're... Electric? 4 3. With... with uh, you know the pieces they have. Almost as uh, fast having as Having SPB, having Jim Floriani, having Jacob Burnett on defense is strong, but it's not good enough. There's there's huge holes in the defense, and they're allowing way too many points. All right, speaking of holes and offenses, it's time for the receivers. Top five receivers. Our top five pass. I'm gonna stump your, your okay. Your let's go crappy ahead, top five. No, you go first. No, no, you go first. No, you go no, first. No, you go first. Okay, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you why you pick these players. Okay, okay. you, can, no, no, you no, pick these no, players because no. you like. Uh, guys, they, you know, they can play, play football very well. Play the game very well. Is that Mokan? That's Mokan. All right. Do you like it? I, I, I thought it was like Mokan. <laughs> All right. Let's go with your athletes of the week. My here. athletes? Yes. Let's go. Okay. Number one receiver. Not nah, number one receiver. Okay. I'm going Emilio C E C E R E. System receiver? Yeah. System receiver. Whatever. 12 catches. I put 26 yards here, but I guess it's 260 yards. Eight touchdowns. Matt Mona of Cream Team. One and three cream team. 24 catches, 279 yards, and five TDs. J.D. Chevalier, you had him on your list as well. Yes, I did. 15 catches, 247 yards, five TDs. He's a very good player. Uh, Carmen Police, Police. On my list. Uh, the old man of the league. 22 catches, 217 yards, nine touchdowns, the most in Division C. Uh, then I got Dre Gran Jay Grandison, 25 catches, 269 for six touchdowns. We're three out of five. Yeah, but you put... Okay, all due respect to Rob Allen. 10 catches, 217 yards, and 5 touchdowns. He's been fantastic for the Whatever. And then you put Pat Saitakman, who doesn't even have 200 yards, and there's 10 guys. That, and he, has, he, has, he only has three touchdowns. He's clutch. Oh, that's pretty he loud. has three touchdowns, and he has two last game. I'm saying he's clutch. Okay, he's clutch, yeah. Both but you're telling me he's better than Emilio C-E-C-R-E or Matt Mona? Yeah. Mona makes his, makes his damage Monet? from losing. Monet. Monet. Mona? Monet? Monet? Monet. I'm saying that he does his damage when they're out of... Contention, whatever. A name not mentioned by either of you is uh, perhaps because Terry hates two and a half dance, but I would say Fort Evangelista no is one here. of the most clutch receivers in the league. He does a lot of his damage on third and fourth down, which is not he's represented get, on the statue. He's got to get new wristbands, though. That Denver Broncos wristband is really you, stretching. You out. stalk them, though. Like, you know way too much about their <laughs> lives. No, I just, I just pick on like little things about people. They need to get a new fax machine at work. <laughs> you know? A la Eagle, little things about people. Okay, fair enough. We agree to disagree, but we have one guy who's our number one, Jay Grandison, correct? Jay Grandison. Uh, no. My number one is yeah. J.D. Chevalier. It's not Jay Grandison. Okay. He's my number two. Okay. We flip on that. And then I'm going to go uh, a melting pot of the other four. And honorable mention, Eddie the Latin Hustle Martinez. Uh, that's, that's, I just got to no, throw him in there, but he's a beast. That's like your breath far to your John Madden. What? Tony who's, Romo to, uh, to uh, what's his name? Chris well, Collinsworth? Yeah, exactly. Madden would always talk about Favre. Oh, if we had 12 Favre. Favre. Great football player. How about John Gruden to any quarterback? This guy. Uh, I'll this tell you guy. what, man. This, this guy, guy knows how to play the quarterback position, mm -hmm. man. Tariko, the sheriff's in town. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what, man. I'll tell you what, man. I'll tell you what, man. It's time for the picks of the week. Let's it is, in fact, time for picks of the week, guys. Uh, I've mulled this over. I got some spreads for you. Hold on. Time out. Uh, Are these your music? spreads? Absolutely. Where is the background music? You can't Seriously. Be all right, let's we see. have some technical <laughs> difficulty with our techno technical direction. Uh, 
Eagle, of course, is getting at Flying that. from his But nest. some technical difficulties are what Preds Light will have yes. when they face GNR because I think the spread in this game will be 13, 13 and a half points. Terry Tam, what is your pick against the spread? GNR, cover the points, plus. So if I have some money to spend this weekend, which I don't, I should spend it on. GNR. Preds Light, uh, according to Simon Dajan, our insider, the Adam Schefter of FPF. Not really. Stop doing that. Big injury. Don't talk to. Don't talk about him like he's people. Big injury. He wouldn't say who from GNR is hurt, but someone's hurt big time. Really? Maybe. Yeah. maybe as it's, long as uh, it's not Vinny G. I think it's actually okay. Simon Dajan's feelings by getting beaten up by GNR. Ooh, oh. Uh, oh shit. Speaking of uh, Simon Dajan, he takes on the Damps twenty-five-eight. Uh, I I've seen a lot of good things with the snatches, but I've also seen a lot of downside. I think the Damps will win. And the spread is five and a half points. Ooh, I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm taking snatches on this one. Damps, all the way through. Whatever. Mokan, you're known for your weekend benders in Vegas. Uh, in that time, if you had a choice to bet on either Punisher or Serve with Heat, with a two and a half spread of Serve with Heat, who would you choose? Taking Harlem Heat, Booker T, Steve Ray. That's a hell of a duo. I'm going Serve with Heat too. Plus the points. Don't know the reference, but okay. Neither do I. Nice. Two That's and a half do. Dans versus the Longhorns. <laughs> uh, Terry Tam, I don't think the spread matters, but it is eight and a half points for the Dans. Does your hate shine through? Uh, I'm going Longhorns to cover the spread. Oh, surprise, surprise. But I'm going two and a half wins with the two and a half dance with a win, bro. Uh, if you had dude. confidence in the two and a half dance, Seriously. you take them plus is, the points. Is there no I don't end. have confidence in two and a half dance. That's the point. Is there no end to your hate? Four and Will six ever is what the record is going to be. Five and five. I just contradicted okay. myself. Okay, fair enough. I'm lying, I'm lying. Uh, what did you learn on today's episode of Never Walk Alone? I learned that, that Terry Tam is just a hateful person. I, I think <laughs> I think he has some darkness <laughs> deep some inside. Darkness. Eagle, what, he learned what? He, he learned he's got to run away at times. I learned that I have to really plug in a microphone, so I don't need to speak into something I can't even get to the top of. All right, uh, Terry Tam, you learned what? Uh, what did I learn this week? I want to say, not just today. But actually, you know what I learned today? That you can clear your criminal record on fpfflyclosterball.com. Uh, There's a click through. I learned that Terry Tam... Does not know what he wants in life. I learned that Rob Campana just made an appointment at Dance. Yeah, we might not show up, by the way. Yeah, we got it. So my phone just died. All right, uh, come up next, the Audible with uh, PZ and GM. Stay Calling tuned here audible. at Sportier Cage. Thank you to those who watched and listened. Good morning, South Korea.